Before we get into the compound interest, let's have a brief review of simple interest. In simple interest, when we have a principal amount P, after the first year, the amount will be principal plus certain interest calculated based on this principal. Then for the second year, it is principal plus two times the interest. And for the third year, it is principal plus three times the interest. So the amount which was initially taken will remain constant. Only the interest gets added. Unlike this, in compound interest, when we take a certain amount as principal, after the first year, it will be principal plus interest based on the first principal. So that is I. But for the second year, the interest will not be I, it will be some I2. That is interest calculated on principal as well as the interest. And for the third year, this will be some I3. So as we proceed, the interest is actually compounded. I hope you are able to make out the difference. Now let's get into the formula. In compound interest, amount equals principal into 1 plus R by 100 to the power D, where A is the amount and P is the principal taken and R is rate of interest and T is time for which the amount has been taken. Now for this, if you want to calculate the compound interest, it is basically amount minus principal. Therefore, this is P into 1 plus R by 100 power T minus P. So when you take the P common, it is 1 plus R by 100 power T minus 1. So this particular formula we will be using in most of the question. And one more important point to be noted, the above formula is applicable only when interest is compounded yearly. That means interest is calculated year to year. But it is not compulsory that in the question it will be yearly. It could be half year or quarterly or monthly. So let's also learn what will be the other formula. If the interest is compounded half yearly, then the formula for the amount is A equals P into 1 plus R by 200 into 2T. So what happened is basically time has been changed to 2T and the rate has been changed to R by 2. Now if it is quarterly, then A will be P into 1 plus R by 400 into 4T and if it is monthly, amount equals P into 1 plus R by 1200 into 12T. I hope you are able to make out how we are writing the formula. Now most of the times because we have an exponent E, it is better if we learn a little bit of shortcuts. So let's look into the rate of interest, R percent. If it is 4, then 5, then 8, 10, 12 and 20. This will be the common rate of interest and generally time is given two years. Then what happens is we already know amount is principal into 1 plus r by 100 over t. Now let's take the example of 4 percent. So this is p into 1 plus 4 by 100 power 2. This is p into 1.04 square. Now at this point if you can memorize this value it's more easy to calculate. So let me write down the decimal to the power of two expansions. So 4 percent will have 1.04 square which is 1.0816 and when it is 5 percent it is 1.05 square this is 1.1025 for 8 it is 1.1664 10 means 1.1 square this is 121 so 1.21 and then 12 percent 1.12 square is 1.2544 and 1.2 square is 144 so 1.44 Try to memorize this so that the calculations will be much faster. Alright, this is sufficient to start with and before we get into the questions, let me also give you the different type of questions asked on this topic. The first one is basic formula based questions. Here they give all the values. We just need to pick up the formula, substitute the values and directly we will get the answer. The second type is correlation between simple and compound interest. Basically they will give you simple interest and they will ask you to find the principal. That particular amount is used in the compound interest for the rest of the calculation, something of this sort. And the third type is we are asked to calculate the difference between the compound interest and the simple interest. All right, now let's get into the type one that is basic formula based question. Here we have a question the compound interest occurred on an amount at the end of two years at the rate of 12% interest per annum is rupees 2862. 
what is the amount for this let's write the given data first they have given the component interest as rupees 2863 then rate is 12 percent time is two years and principal is something which we need to find for this we already know the formula compound interest is amount minus principal this is p into one plus r by 100 power t minus p so this is if i take p common this is one plus r by 100 power t minus one now let's substitute these values 2863 equals p into 1 plus 12 by 100 over 2 minus 1 this is 2863 equals p into 1.12 square minus 1 now this value we already know when you substitute when we solve we get p as rupees 11250 that is option a let's do one more for practice the compound interest earned by Suresh on certain amount at the end of two year at the rate of 8% per annum was rupees 1414.4. What was the total amount that Suresh got back at the end of two year in the form of principal plus interest? So here in this question, they are basically asking us to calculate the amount. Okay, let's do this. First, let me write the given data. The compound interest is 1414.4 rate is 8 percent time is two years amount we don't know but before we get into the amount first we need to know the principle so this is also unknown now the formula is compound interest is p into 1 plus r by 100 power t minus 1 this is in whole bracket now when we substitute the values 1414.4 equals p into 1 plus 8 by 100 power 2 minus 1 this is 1414.4 equals p into 1.08 square minus 1. Again, this value we already know. When we solve this, this whole thing comes out to be rupees 8500. But this is not the answer. We are asked to calculate the amount. And we know that amount is principal plus component interest. That is 8500 plus 14, 14.4. That is 9914.4. Don't forget to memorize the squares of decimals like 1.04 whole square, 1.08 whole square, so on. This will definitely speed up your calculations. Now let's get into type 2 questions that is based on correlation between simple interest and the compound interest. To understand this, let's solve the problem. The simple interest occurred on a sum of certain principal is rupees 7200 in 6 years at the rate of 12% per annum. What would be the compound interest occurred? on the principal at the rate of 5% in 2 years. So here you can clearly see they gave simple interest from that we got certain amount. Now that is used for the second. Here you can clearly see they have given the simple interest time and the rate but principal amount is not given. So we use that data to find the principal then we will use that in compound interest and then we will get the answer. To solve this first let us get into the simple interest for that let me write the data simple interest is given as rupees 7200 time is 6 years and the rate is 12 percent and principal is unknown but we know the formula principal is simple interest into 100 by r into t now when we substitute the values that is 7200 into 100 by 12 into 6 this is 10,000 rupees. Now for the compound interest, this value can be used as principal. So P is rupees 10,000. Then rate for compound interest is 5% and time is 2 years. Now we already know the formula. Compound interest is P into 1 plus R by 100 power T minus 1. So this is 10,000 multiplied by this whole quantity will become 1.05 square minus 1. This is 0 0.1025. Therefore, the answer is rupees 1025. Therefore, the option is C. Okay, let's do one more question for practice. A man gets a simple interest of rupees 1000 on a certain principle at the rate of 5% per annum in 4 years. What compound interest will the man get on twice the principal in two years at the same rate? Very similar question. So let's try. 
simple interest is given as rupees thousand then rate is five percent time is four years and we know the formula principal is simple interest into hundred by rate into time this is thousand into hundred by five into four this is rupees five thousand so from this data we could able to find the principal now let's move to the compound interest they are saying that uh, the man is able to get twice the principal so for the second we need to take the principal as two times the initial principal initially it was five thousand so two times that is rupees ten thousand and rate it is same as the previous therefore five percent time is two years now let's take the formula component interest is p into one plus r by hundred power time minus one now once we substitute the values this is ten thousand into 1.05 square minus 1 very similar to the last one this value is rupees 1025 i hope you are able to pick up the concept practice makes you perfect so don't forget to solve the questions sometimes questions are asked based on difference between compound interest and the simple interest so for this lecture let's learn how to solve these kind of questions now let's get into type 3 in this they generally ask us to find the difference of compound interest and simple interest before we solve the questions, let's derive the formula to calculate difference between compound interest and simple interest. First, let's do for two years. We need compound interest minus simple interest. Simple interest we already know. It is P R T by 100. That is time is two years. So 2 into P R by 100. That becomes P R by 50. Now compound interest is C I equals P into 1 plus R by 100 whole square minus 1 so let's expand this this is p into 1 plus r square by 100 square plus 2 r by 100 minus 1 in this one will be cancelled now the left out elements are p r square by 100 square plus 2 p r by 100 2 and 100 can be cancelled it can be written as p r by 50 all right we got compound interest and we got simple interest we just need to subtract so when we do that this leads to in this this quantity will be cancelled with this so we are left with p r square by 100 square this is the answer for two years now for three years i'll directly give you the formula i'm not deriving it but you can make a note of this in your book it is p r square into 300 plus r by 100 cube it's better to memorize the formula because uh, if you try to derive this in the examination center it takes a lot of time okay let's look into the application of this formula here is the first question what will be the difference between the simple interest and compound interest earned on a sum of rupees 985 at 14 percent interest at the end of two years so let me write the given data first principal is rupees 985 rate is 14 percent time is two years and we are supposed to calculate the difference now for two years we already know the formula difference is p r square by 100 square now once we substitute the values this is 985 into 14 into 14 by 100 into 100 and when we solve this this is rupees 19.306 that is option c let's do one more what will be the approximate difference in the simple and compound interest accrued on an amount of rupees 2600 at the rate of 15 percent per annum at the end of three years again for this let me write the given data principal is rupees 2600 rate is 15 percent time is three years and we are supposed to calculate the difference and we already know for three years the difference is p r square into 300 plus r by 100 Q in this let me substitute this is 2600 r square that is 15 square that will be 225 into 300 plus r 300 plus 15 that is 315 divided by 100 cube so 100 into 100 into 100 so this is 26 into 2.25 into 3.15 this is 
So approximately this is rupees 184. Generally questions from this topic are pretty simple and direct. So practice well and also memorize the formulas thoroughly.